Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for helping center us with so many moving things getting ready this morning. As now we, we seek to, to pause, to be present, to experience, may we today experience transcendence into God's love, into God's care as we prepare to worship. Some announcements this week. Um, we will return back to our regular meet in the middle this week at 4.30. Um, for, we have it both in person and online. And so if you need help with the online, come call the office and we'll make sure we get you connected. Um, we've got the technology now to help bring everybody together from the classroom into the screen and the screen to the classroom. And so help us to continue, help our children to grow in faith as our children have a way of helping us as we're reminded, come to let the children come to me. Do not hinder them. Such, a de- such as these belong to the kingdom of God. Somehow we come to know God better through our children as we, as we enter in to child size as to experience that. Um, any other announcements this week? Handbells on 7.30 on Wednesdays. Talk to Martha if anybody else is interested in ringing handbells. So rehearsal here at 7.30. Steve. Okay, so one of the things, uh, we will be reaching out first to the study itself. I'll make sure somebody's in place to handle the technology. Um, See if one of the others that attends the study can lead. For now, let's plan on, we'll communicate through a blast if we don't, but we'll ask somebody else to help lead the next lesson. Um, I'll communicate with you Monday, okay? So that sounds good. Thank you for communicating that. Any other announcements this morning? Let us now, with all of our hearts, minds, souls, and strength, let us worship God. And not Clara. Not <laughs> uh, please join me in the call to worship. God of the unlikely, the invisible, the unseen. God of the neglected, rejected, unexpected. God who creates all people in your image, who sees our promise, our potential, who looks beyond the outward and knows us, heart, mind, and soul. You call us to be your people. We respond with thanksgiving and respond by showing up to worship. Let us now, from our homes, in our travels, and here in person, pause. Give our full attention and let us worship God. So as we have so much that moves around and it's been a busy couple of weeks, it's been a busy few months and uh, you know how it goes, we fall behind. Anybody else behind out there? How many of you, how many of you are really good at intending to send some thank you notes and you find you're behind on your thank you notes? Yeah, well, I thought I would spend a little bit of time this morning catching up, catching up on some of my thank you notes, okay? Martha, can we get a little thank you music? Thank you, Meat Raffle. Yes, thank you at Spirit of Life, we've got meats. Meet our new people. Meet our young people. Meet our college people. Meet our people in person. Meet our people who chose to be online. That's what it's all about. Worshiping together, sharing together, serving together, caring together. We've got meats. Rob, 
and, and Duane, uh, were there any women on this committee? How did this happen? Um, How did we get here? Uh, Becky, uh, it's, it's meet, M-E-E-T, uh, to meet, to meet each other. Thank you, Little Free Library. This is one of my favorites. As, as we were greeted in the last few weeks with this book, taking little a little too far. Thank you, Little Free Library, for making me notice all of the wonderfully titled children's books at Target. <laughs> it's like a new game now, it's yes. like, right? And I love, I love the person that look through those books and like, I'm gonna make this one show right up front. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Boy Scouts. <laughs> Thank you, Oscar Meyer Baloney song. Well, for providing the greatest stewardship song of all time. Let's roll the tape. Our stewardship has a first name. It's big M E E T. Our stewardship has a second name, it's R-A-F-F-L-E Oh, I love to thank God every day New life in Christ is why I'll say God's to meet and, and share and serve and, and pair is why we share our gifts today Amen! Yes, thank you! Um, thank you, Kelly? I don't, I don't have any words. Are you, that's something, isn't it? It's pretty, that is pretty amazing. That's something. And, and it's Kelly's birthday today, by the way. Happy birthday, Happy Kelly. Happy birthday. Did you, can we sing to Kelly? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kelly. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Thank you, Oscar Meyer. I'd also, again, like to thank the Stewardship Committee. I'd like to thank them for how far they will take things to get meat. This is Steve down in Florida, his driveway, just this week. Um, has, has anyone seen Mark? Steve, have, have you seen Mark? <laughs> Thank you, coffee. One of, one of the most important things that helped pastors make it through Wait, the pandemic. Hold on. Coffee. Yeah, coffee. Coffee. It's coffee. I think what he's trying to say, you guys, is thank you, Rum Chata, for helping me get through each Sunday service. Who told you? <laughs> uh huh. Um, again, Rum Chata, you can send checks to Spirit of Life. <laughs> We'd like to thank Steve Lewis for the donation of all the new furniture, for the furniture for my office. Thank you, Steve, for finding a way to get Rob to clean his office. <laughs> and I'm just wondering, do you have any furniture we could put in the Dove Room that might get him to clean the Dove Room? <laughs> thank you. Spirit of life. Thank you for all the ways that you step up, that you serve. Thanks for showing up for the crop walk in so many ways of your donations, of your feet, for working. Thank you for all that you're doing as we seek to actively be the hands and the feet of Jesus. Thanks, Spirit of life. Thank you.
is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship. Come. Just as you are before your God. Come. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come. Now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship, come, just as you are before your God, come. Willingly we surrender to save our lives, willingly our knees will bow, with all our hearts on time to worship. Oh, come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship. Come. Just as you are before your Just as you are, come, come. Amen. Loving and creating God. All that you have made is good. Beauty is all around us, in creation, in people. Beauty is within us, if only we will see as you do. The magnificence of the fall colors, morning sunrise and evening sunset, fields in harvest and birds migrating. Gracious God, illumine this word by your spirit that we might hear what you will have us hear and be who you will have us be. Amen. Know how far God goes from entering into human flesh to show God's love for us. Know that in the teaching and the walking and the healing and all of the ways, God shows us most fully in Jesus Christ the love and the beauty that God sees in you. It's in Jesus Christ that you are forgiven. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.
read the scripture. I want it's just a just send me along. Okay. A reading from First Samuel sixteen, and I, I didn't practice, y'all. So <laughs> hopefully, there's no big words in here. Oh, you'll do great. <laughs> the Lord said to Samuel, "How long will you grieve over Saul?" I have rejected him from being king over Israel. Fill your horn with oil and set out. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite. For I have provided for myself a king among his sons. Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hears of it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what you shall do. And you shall anoint for me the one who I, whom I name to you. Samuel did what the Lord commanded and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the city came to meet him trembling and said, Do you come peaceably? He said, Peaceably. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they came, he looked on Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is now before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord does not see as mortals see. They look on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinab and made him pass before Samuel. He said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shammah pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel, and Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any of these. Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your sons here? And he said, there remains yet the youngest, but he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. He sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. The Lord said, Rise and anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers, and the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. Samuel then set out and went to Ramah. Hmm. Daniel Striped Tiger, I presume? Correct as usual, King Friday. What, may I ask, are you doing? I have a new magnifying glass, and I am using it to look out there at all of those people. What do you see, Daniel Striped Tiger? I see brown hair. Blonde hair, black hair. I see brown eyes, blue eyes, dimples, no dimples. We have the meats. Meat man Dewey, I presume. Correct as usual, King Friday. Good morning. And Daniel Striped Tiger, what are you doing? I am looking at all of those people. I see fancy church clothes over there, Pastor Rob in a t-shirt, some fancy pants, and some shorts. Some people out there at home are still in their pajamas. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I see Larry over there sleeping. <laughs> that Larry. Never wake a sleeping Larry. I see different hairstyles, some that don't have any hair. Different clothing, some tall and some not so tall. As king, 
I make a decree that from this day forth, everyone shall wear my favorite color, purple, to church. Oh, King Friday, purple is nice. It is the color of the Vikings. But Daniel Tiger's favorite color is red, and my favorite color is blue. But I am king. When I make a proclamation... Oh, King Friday, did you hear the story Billy just read? Becky just read? It is a story of calling a new king, and there is a surprise in the story. Good listening, Daniel Tiger. Yes, in choosing the king, it wasn't the biggest, it wasn't the strongest, it wasn't the oldest. If not the tallest, the most handsome, or the strongest, what kind of king are you looking for? What Becky just read said, the Lord said to Samuel, do not look on their appearance or their height, for the Lord does not see as mortals see. They look at the, on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. It's the heart that matters. What about all of the things you are seeing through that magnifying glass? King Friday, those are all parts of the outward appearances. They are what we see when we look at each other. And those, these outward appearances, yeah, they're important. Hairstyles help people express themselves. We choose different fashion because we are different. Hmm, yes. And another thing I see is how we have different colors of skin, like me. That adds to our community because we have different stories, come from different places. This adds to our beauty. Looks to me like you're starting to look deeper through that magnifying glass. When God sees differently than we see, what do you think God sees? Purple. <laughs> oh, King Friday, bless your heart. I think what God sees is kindness, compassion, generosity, and love. Very good, Daniel Striped Tiger. And God is asking us to do the same. God saw something more in David, something God knew would be so important through the king that would one day lead to Jesus. Now God is asking us to look deeper, encouraging us to go deeper with one another. This is so good. We can celebrate our differences that make each of us unique in ways we then get to know each, in ways we then get to know each other deeper. Not because of the clothes we wear, our fashion, the songs we listen to, the cars we drive. What God is helping show us is that the inner qualities are most important. And this is what is most important in growing our friendships at church. Daniel, you are a very wise tiger. Amen. Harold, amen. <laughs> and all God's people say, Amen. amen. Generous God, thank you for all that you have given us. Receive now our offerings this day. Take and use them for the building of, our, of your kingdom. May what we share be a sign of all that we offer and may they remind us that all that we are and have comes from you. Amen. Love is but a song we sing, fear's the way we die. You can make the mountains ring, or make the angels cry. Though the bird is on the wing, and you may not know why. 
Come on, people now. Smile on your brother, everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. He got juju eyeball, he want holy roller. He got hair down to his knees. Got to be a joker, he just do what he please. He wear no shoe shine, he got Toe jam football, he got monkey finger, he shoot Coca-Cola, he say, I know you, you know me. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. Come together right now over here. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity will someday be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know who we are. Christians by our love. Come on, people now. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. Right now, right now. Isn't that wonderful? Like first time ever I've heard come together on um, song at church. <laughs> and I think it's awesome. As that's part of the whole point of, of meat of meat our meat raffle. Uh, the whole focus of it is, is for us to intentionally seeking all the ways to get to know each other, to come together, to, to grow deeper um, beyond all the surface ways, but deeper in the love that we share. And part of the way we're sharing that is with testimonies of what the church means to you. Last week we had the wonderful one from Kelly. Um, uh, as she shared, she's one of our uh, people we gained online along with her, her extended family. Some of the ways we're growing as we're seeking intentionally to connect community in this hybrid world that we're in, as we're going to seek con to continually serve together and to seek Christian education together and all of the different ways um, to share life together. Uh, another person that has helped us to grow in so many ways, not just with not just with lots of members of a family, but to grow in faith, um, is sharing his testimony today, and so. Now we welcome uh, the testimony of Ryan Kearns. Hello, friends. My name is Ryan Kearns, and Pastor Rob asked me to talk to everyone this week about my testimony and why my family and I uh, both are part of Spirit of Life and why we participate in Spirit of Life. Uh, so my name is Ryan Kearns. My wife is Megan and my three sons are Jimmy, Charlie, and Johnny. And some weeks it feels like we're at church pretty much every day. And um, I'm a member of the session and on a few of the committees, including stewardship and finance. And Megan's on a few committees herself and teaches Sunday school and m, &M. And our boys are probably busy running around right now. We 
started coming to Spirit of Life a couple of years ago now, um, so shortly before the pandemic, and we really enjoyed the fact that we get to do things not just on Sunday. We have an active family with three small boys, and so M&M in particular is very helpful and something that the boys really look forward to and it's great because we can be a part of it they can be a part of it but they can go be part of it with their friends and we can be a part of it for the adult portion of things and we also really enjoy the picnics that we get to have during the summer the boys love to come pick raspberries we love the fact that the boys get to see Grandma Rose and Grandpa Charlie in the pews, and it can be a whole family outing on Sunday and on Wednesday. So we came to Spirit of Life from the Catholic Church. Um, we were looking for a church that we could sort of blend in with. We were looking for something big and where nobody would really notice if you were gone a week or um, anything like that. Just sort of blend into the crowd. And that's definitely not Spirit of Life. But when we came, we fell in love with the place. Uh, first it was the boys and I, and uh, then we came as a whole family. And Pastor Rob really moved us with the sermons and the activity for the kids was great and we were hooked so instead of going to a several thousand parishioner Catholic Church we started coming to Spirit of Life and it's been great because Spirit of Life is a, a match for our family's values and also gives us the sense of community that before we came to Spirit of Life, we didn't even realize we were wanting, and now we wouldn't trade it for all the world. Being part of our community is a big part of, I think, our whole family's identity and, and something we all look forward to every week, multiple times per week. So that's why we're part of Spirit of Life, and that's why we support Spirit of Life, and I hope you will too. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Very, very good. Very good messages. As uh, you with the boys and with Meg, 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 Meg's like, like was pretty brand new when we were right before kids camp. And immediately she's doing like skits and, and puppets and and, uh, you know, this whole idea of somewhere big to blend in, and, and you jump right in. And uh, we, we thank you, uh, your families, um, and all of the families here. Um, so with our stewardship campaign, that's what we're supporting, with, our, with all of our gifts, with our volunteer time, but with our financial resources. Uh, we mailed out Thursday the stewardship letter with a pledge card. Um, I, at the end of the service, um, I'll, be, I'll ask Ryan to be with me. Um, we'll be standing back there with pledge cards if you haven't received one. Um, and at home, uh, to make sure that you're receiving the weekly blasts, to make sure you're receiving the communication and the mailings, uh, send a note if you're not. We're, we're, we're trying to, to reach out and to get those. Um, but uh, one of the things with social media is, is we, there's some anonymity that's the place to blend in, Ryan, is, is um, the anonymity there. Uh, but we, our goal is to, to, to take this beyond that, to take this to connections, to take this to, to uh, a community of coming together, to try to love one another right now, as, as was so well sung for us. So thank you. Um, we ask, uh, now, one of the, I'm going to have you go with the slide, next slide here. Our, we, Part of our meat raffle is we are actually going to have a meat raffle on November 7th, in person and online. 
Um, this week we'll be, we'll be sending out the, the, the ideas of what you can, the raffle tickets that you can be purchasing. All of the money for the raffle part is going to be a kickstart for the budget for next year. And so, uh, so yes, there's a chance to win meat. Our grand prize is going to be uh, Omaha Steak Certificate. We're going to have two of them. And, uh, Omaha Steak Certificate or a turkey dinner that's going to be provided with all the things for going home and preparing a turkey dinner um, by submitting a pledge card um, by, by turning one in you're automatically going to be registered for this one and so uh, but we're going to have lots of there'll be lots of bacon too and so uh, make a commitment help write it down help, help put it in writing make that commitment get it submitted um, with, the, with the commitment that, that we are making to support the church, to support our children, to support all growing in faith. Thank you. We transition now into this time of prayer together. Um, in fact, there's one over here I'm going to go get. online be submitting those in the comments and, and Eric will be transferring those up here to me so that I can see those um, in person uh, there's the chance we keep back there on the table um, a way to write some down and and th those get turned in to me to be able to share all of our prayers let us now come before this cross before God as God's people and pray creator God all that you have made is good. Your beauty surrounds us in creation, in people, also is within us. We have the eyes to see. The signs of you are around us in the, the mountains, in the vast oceans, colorful gardens beauty of all of the animals. God, you've made so much that is beautiful where everything fits. Everything has its place. As people, we can try so hard to fit in, to belong, but we focus on the surface instead. Help us to see instead a, a glimpse of what you see. Within us, there's also beauty, gentleness, grace, kindness, and love are beautiful gifts that we need to develop and to share with others. Help us to nourish our inner beauty while having eyes that seek the inner beauty of others. And help us to look for beauty in all places, in all people. Dear God, we pray for your people, so many who have struggled with depression and need, and need the gift, the gift of others, the gift of connection. God, help provide healing, surround people with your presence and work through us. God, we lift the prayer of Gladys for her grandma Anna Loom where today makes 11 years since, since she left us. And it feels just like yesterday. Your legacy lives on in us. Continue to rest with the Lord till we meet again. We lift the prayers of Rose and Charlie for Bill Mersh. Please pray for her brother-in-law who will have hip surgery tomorrow. God, may you help bring healing, work through the doctors, the professionals, the, the healing crew, help, help him to have successful surgery and a strong recovery. God, we lift Kelly's prayers, prayers for safe travel for her daughter and son-in-law as they head back to Waterloo today. Thank you, God, for a great weekend with family. Thanks for another blessed year. God, we lift all of the prayers of our hearts, those spoken and those unspoken, as we pray with the words that you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. With a little bit of delay on Facebook, another prayer has come in from Tracy. Continued prayers for her husband for additional procedures this week. God, we lift these prayers to you. May we hold these prayers in our hearts this week. Amen. Let's all stand. One day soon we'll all be singing, but we'll be singing in spirit um, with Dion leading us in song. We are one in Christ Jesus, all one body, all one spirit, all together. We are one in Christ Jesus, all one body, all one spirit, all together. We share one God, one mighty Lord, one abiding faith, one binding love, one single baptism, one holy comforter, one holy spirit, uniting all. We are one in Christ Jesus, all one body, all one spirit, all together. We are one in Christ Jesus, all one body, <laughs> all one spirit, all together. We share one God, one mighty Lord, one abiding faith, one binding love, one single baptism, one holy comforter, one holy spirit, uniting all. May we go forth from here with the peace and the joy that has been shared through song and puppets and children and the love that we have in Jesus Christ. Know that, know that God is connected with us in all ways, in all places. God is with us. And we seek to share that with each other, with the person that we go out and meet in the marketplace. May the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, peace and unity of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen.